ninth place. Jeff Gordon. I don't think you're gonna beat him tonight. That car is bad fast. He's a winner. He's a, he's a class act. Whenever you have somebody like that in the sport, you're always gonna think of him as a as a champion. Just a champion. Jeff Gordon's a champion. I mean, he's a pioneer. He's uh, just a, a great race car driver. Jeff Gordon has moved back to the top of the class once again. He made it look pretty easy. Everything that he's ever driven, he's been successful at. He's a driver that can drive on any type of racetrack. You know, he's aggressive. He's, he's much more aggressive than people act like he is. Don't look now. Jeff Gordon is back out front. He retakes the top spot. He's a fierce competitor, but he's he's pretty fair about how he does things, and that's why he's got the respect that he has. Funny to me, they well, that guy, he's not aggressive. Yeah, you go do what he does, you know? <laughs> when you're a lot faster than everybody, you can have one driving style. Jeff Gordon might be putting himself in position for a great finish. And he drives with the same determination he's always had. Here he comes, Tony Stewart trying to make up ground, but Jeff Gordon looking like the Gordon of old as he makes that pass and takes the lead. I don't think his, his driving style has changed much at all. To me, he's, uh, he's very much the same driver today that he was 10 years ago. It's just Jeff to me, but with all that he's accomplished, um, he's the most declarated driver that we have on track. He has definitely been one of the biggest names in NASCAR racing. Good job, buddy. Good job, guys. Please welcome driver of the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet from Vallejo, California, Jeff Gordon. Jeff won three championships during a remarkable four-year run from 1995 to 98. Thank you very much. First time I've ever been called a pioneer. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate that. And how do you follow up Clint Boyer? I mean, uh, you know, I'm just glad I don't have to do it very often on Sundays. I owe him that. He, you got to understand the kind of week we've had this uh, the, the, here in Vegas. This guy has ripped into me this week. I, I owed him. Sorry. Sorry, Clint. With the success the 24 team has had in the past, so much is expected of us and by us. After starting this season so strong, no one's more disappointed in our finish than we are, but it was not due to the lack of effort. Thank you to Steve and the entire 24 team for that tremendous effort. Unfortunately, the results didn't show up um, for that incredible effort. There's a quote uh, attributed to John F. Kennedy, change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. Rick, you're an incredible leader, bud. And, um, you know, you just continue to amaze all of us and what you're able to do uh, with these race teams, of course, being here as a champion. And, uh, you know, I think one of the examples of, of why you're such an incredible leader just happened recently, um, you know, and I think it's proof of why you're on this stage for the 10th time. Um, you know, a championship was won two days later. Uh, this guy was making decisions to make all of us better because he just never gives up, never rests on his laurels. So thank you so much, Rick, for your leadership, uh, for everything that you do for our, our sport. Uh, Rick and Linda, I'm just so you know, fortunate to, uh, to be a part of this whole organization for all these years. And uh, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life as well. Um, Jimmy and Chad, I thought what you did last year was amazing. My gosh, five in a row? Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. Uh, you know, congratulations. Uh, I, I really, uh, this is something that will never, I think everybody will agree, never ever be done again in this sport. So congratulations on that. And uh, of course, the highlight of my season occurred on a Monday, August 9th to be exact when my son Leo was born. There's just no greater joy than experiencing what it's like to bring a new life into the world. And so uh, to Ingrid and, and uh, Ella and Leo, I love you guys so much. Thank you for, for everything you do. And you look amazing tonight. Uh, to my mom and uh, my, my stepfather John and my entire family, I love you all and couldn't be standing right here without you. And finally, we're truly gonna miss Jim Hunter, Jeff Bird, Ed Schull, and all those we lost this year. While their personalities and friendship will be missed, 
Their commitment and dedication to help grow our sport will be with us forever. Thank you. Good night.